Arado Shapranda Kala Pratesa Debegata Men have risen and men have gone down. Governments have risen and governments have gone down. Men of God have risen. Some have gone to join the cloud of witnesses. But I tell you, if you build on the ministry of prayer and you build on the ministry of the word, you have the tribe, the twin pillar that you can hold on. And when the dust comes and when the winds blow, you will still be standing. The word and prayer. Let's find a place to pray. Acts chapter 6 again. But we will give ourselves continually. When it is time for Bible study and the learning of doctrine, do not ignore it. Sit down and camp with the word. Go and buy books. Go and listen to materials. Don't say I'm a prayer warrior. I'm seeing visions. Settle down and learn doctrine. Learn the ways of God. Learn about financial prosperity. Learn about discipline and moral excellence. Learn about character. Learn about leadership. Learn about administration. Don't ignore any dimension. Embrace the whole counsel of God. And then garnish it with a life of prayer. Pray in the morning. Pray in the afternoon. Pray in the night. Pray with fasting. And you will evolve into a sign and a wonder. That is God's pattern. Can I tell you this? This is what you must do if you want to see the glory of God manifest in your life. We are going to pray. Our first prayer point is found in Leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6. There are names, there are titles, there are legends and tales of strength, but only a shoe will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. And Moses said, this is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do. And the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. If you want to see the glory of the Lord upon your life, there is what you must do. And this is the mystery I've revealed to you tonight. You want to see the glory of the Lord in your finances? You want to see the glory of the Lord in ministry? Give yourself continually to the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word are there people of prayer in this place can we take the next five minutes to pray wherever you are i want you to commit engage with understanding pray in the spirit pray your understanding where are the watchmen now is your time to pray lift your voice and pray I obtain grace now that you know these things happy are you if you do them Lord the grace to submit myself continually to the ministry of prayer the grace to submit myself to the ministry of the word someone pray challenge prayerlessness challenge wordlessness obtain grace from God some of you have ignored prayer meetings you have ignored prayer ministries it's time to realize some of you have ignored platforms for the communication of sound doctrine it's time to realize Please pray. You are praying for Gombe. You are praying for your children. You are praying for the government. You are praying for the men and the women of God. You are praying for the purposes of God. 
you are praying for your campuses let your kingdom come this is what the Lord commands that you do and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you hallelujah 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 let me show you one of the major ministries of prayer is the ministry of prophetic intercession listen carefully the ability to stand in partnership with heaven and shift climates over territories isaiah 62 help those under the anointing isaiah 62 please give it to us we're wrapping up hear me gombe if you sit down and just say government will change this land business people will change this land you will sit down and nothing will change there is the ministry of prophetic intercession through prayer over families over the government over territories let me show you a scripture we're wrapping up for zion's sake i will not hold my peace and for jerusalem's sake i will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamb that burneth verse 2 the gentiles shall see your righteousness gombe and all kings thy glory gombe thou shalt be called by a new name and the mouth of the lord which the mouth of the lord shall name verse 3 thou shalt be a crown of glory in the hand of the lord and a royal diadem in the hand of thy god these are all the things that god wants to do thou shall no more be termed forsaken neither shall thy land be termed desolate but thou shalt be called hephzibah and thy land beulah for the lord delighted in thee and thy land shall be married now how will this come to pass next verse it says for as a young man married a virgin so shall thy sons marry thee and as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride so shall thy god rejoice over thee verse 6 this is why it will come to pass i have set watchmen upon your walls which shall never hold their peace day or night ye that make mention of the lord he said keep not silent verse 7 and give him no rest until prophecy becomes manifestation that means engage in prayer every family must become an altar of prayer the campus must become an altar of prayer in addition to a learning institution every church must be an altar of prayer your government houses must be altars of prayer give him no rest bring before him the prophetic word lord you have said this concerning gombe that you are the jewel in the savannah we decree and declare it must be so give him no rest listen please look up i can tell you that prayer if and when done with understanding can change the narrative over a life and over a family there was a man in the bible called jabez are we bible students the bible says the mother named him jabez because she bore him in sorrow this guy saw a pattern of negative things following his life but he got to a point where he prayed he said oh that thou wouldest bless me is someone ready to pray you are going to declare lord your prophetic word over my life in this season i enforce this manifestation by prayer open your mouth and pray i enforce prophecy over my church over the government over my campus over my family someone pray someone pray someone pray 
we enforce prophecy violence shall no longer be heard in our land or the sound of mourning we declare this by the decree of the watchers pray let your kingdom come oh god in my family let your kingdom come in every church let your kingdom come over this beautiful land of Gombe. we ignite the fire of revival from the north to the south to the east to the west every campus every home the fire of revival blazing from north to south blazing from east to west of this land until the name of jesus is lifted above every other name hallelujah 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 you are praying because you believe in jesus can i tell you it is the season where women of prayer prophetic intercessors you need to rise in this land the time of sleeping and giving flimsy excuses is over it's time he said awake thou that sleepest man of god it's time to stop giving excuses it's time to know how to hold of the altar and pray prophecy to manifestation teach the young people how to pray pastors teach your members how to pray businessmen pray politicians pray students pray lecturers pray academicians pray members of the force pray he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray in the name of jesus the last prayer point and then i speak over your life and we're done for tonight please listen the last prayer point Proverbs chapter 8 is our next and last prayer point Proverbs chapter 8 from verse 1 media help us please Proverbs chapter 8 doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice she standeth in the top of the high places by the way of the places of the paths wisdom now she cried at the gates at the entry of the city who is crying wisdom at the coming in at the doors unto you O men i call and my voice is to the sons of man O ye simple understand wisdom and ye fools be of an understanding heart verse 6 here for i will speak of excellent things and the opening of my lips shall be right things verse 7 for my mouth shall speak truth 
and wickedness is an abomination to my lips verse 8 all the words of my mouth are in righteousness and nothing is forward or perverse in them they are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge verse 10 receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than fine gold for wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it god is taking us somewhere i wisdom dwell with prudence and find out the knowledge of witty inventions the fear of the lord is to hate evil pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do i hate 14 counsel is mine and sound wisdom i am understanding and i have strength 15 now wisdom is speaking by me king's reign and princes decree justice by me princes rule and nobles even the judges of all the earth 17 i love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me 
are you ready to pray father the mystery that connects what i do not know but i need in my life grant me access to it even by your wisdom go ahead and pray the things i need in my life that i do not know how to obtain may wisdom come for me the wisdom to be empowered financially the wisdom to live and walk in health the wisdom to have a robust ministry the wisdom to lead as a politician the wisdom to establish the counsel of god in my territory i obtain by faith pray the wisdom to be a responsible father the wisdom to be a responsible husband the wisdom to be a responsible wife and mother the wisdom to be an exceptional man of God the wisdom to be an exceptional leader by me kings reign and princes rule